Hi, I'm Peter Quincy, and we're going to be watching this first video, one of three in a series that provides tutorial support at training lifeguards on what they should do in, a, in the event that the victim grabs the lifeguard's shoulder strap rather than the rescue tube. The end objective that we're striving for here as a trainer is that we would like our lifeguards to prioritize personal safety. Personal safety is paramount. And if the lifeguard's personal safety is compromised for some reason, the lifeguard should and must, I would say must, remedy the situation quickly and efficiently by escaping and swimming away to a safe distance. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch this video and we're going to come back and do a breakdown for the benefit of those new lifeguard instructors and in-service trainers. Here we go. So what we're doing here is we're going to film the rescuer disengaging from the rescue tube. The scenario or situation is, is that the victim for some reason has grabbed the strap instead of the tube. And to keep the rescuer safe, they need to disengage from the equipment and swim away. Now we're going to have this happen is the rescuer is going to swim towards the victim and the victim is going to grab their strap. Are we ready? Yeah. Go. this let's go back and talk about what works and what can be improved upon so how we have this set up here specifically is we're focused on what the lifeguard should do in the event that the victim grabs onto the strap okay so we have it set up here that the lifeguards are going to be coming uh, from the front okay so they're facing the victim and they are doing a forward approach using a modified breaststroke with the rescue tube underneath their armpits and we see that here okay what we'd like to see is that once we make contact the victim is making contact and we see that with the first victim with this rescuer here you'll see that the lifeguard tries to get away a little bit farther but realizes they're caught and as the victim moves forward to grab and we see that hand coming up here the lifeguard submerges underwater, taking the shoulder strap off and submerging. We see that right there. Okay. And then we also see them swimming away to a safe distance. And that's what we want to see. Okay. Which looks great. Now, let's go back and take a look at what we see here with the second rescuer. Okay. They're coming in. And we've got contact right there. Coming in with the victim, with the second rescuer. And then we proceed as they get closer and they're realizing that the victim has a strap. The lifeguard submerges, gets away to avoid being full contact by the victim. They're underwater and they're swimming away okay, to a safe distance. And that's what we want to see. Okay, good. We're realizing that both lifeguards have abandoned their equipment, which was totally appropriate at this time because they compromised their own personal safety. And they're at a safe distance so they can reassess them. And that's what we want to see. Now, if we were going to talk about this in regards to what should happen uh, as avoidance of this, let's go back here and take a look. And it starts right here. All right. As the lifeguards are approaching, they're approaching the victims, they should be communicating, identifying themselves, hey, I'm a lifeguard, I'm here to help, all right, I want you to calm down, okay? And as they continue to approach, all right, just outside of arm's distance, here, which is good, and good here, they should stop, do a quick reverse, and move the rescue tube that you see here into their hands, okay? And that's what we want to see. All right, so stopping, slowing down, then taking the rescue tube that's underneath their armpits and moving it to their boat, their front hands, all right, their hands right there, so that as they do the forward drive, that tube is going to be making the contact, the first contact with the victim, okay? And then with a good, strong emphasis of, hey, I'm a lifeguard, grab the rescue tube, calm down, I'm here to help you. Those are the things that should help avoid the situation they just, they just trained for. However, 
lifeguards still need to train for that situation when things don't go as planned. Meaning that when the lifeguard, for some reason, has compromised their safety, they can still get away. Alright? Thanks for watching.